Welcome to Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks. I'm Michelle Fitzgerald, aka Fitzy, and I'm an independent advisor for Creative Memories Scrapbooking, and I'm here to help you make your scrapbooks look fabulous. Today is the first week of August, so it's the first Sunday of August, which means it's time for another plus sign design sketch. Yay! <laughs> So I'm just going to get us right on to it. Let me go to my workspace here. So welcome back. I'm glad you all can join me today. Um, so I'll be using another sketch from this 110 scrapbooking ideas and sketches. Um, people have been asking me, and I feel so badly, I don't have any of these books left. But I think what we should do is go to Creative Memories and ask them to put out more, right? <laughs> we need more sketches. So, or at least more of these books because they're awesome. Um, all right. So anyway, today we are going to be using the sketch on page 54. All right. And I'm going to put this book to the side. And I have everything ready to go here. So I've already made a photocopy of my sketch. If you're gonna play along um, what you're gonna need, but let me show you what mine came out like. So this is what we're gonna be creating today. And um, actually what I'm gonna do, I'm making this into a two page spread. So this is the first page and today I'm gonna create the second page to go with it. All right, it's gonna be the same design. I'm just gonna mirror it so it goes the opposite way. You'll see. All right, I am using, um, what is this collection called? Sun Rays for Days, I think it's called. Hold on, I'm gonna look that up. Yeah, I got it right, Sun Rays for Days. And the papers I'm using, this is gonna be my base paper. As you can see here, this is what I used for my base. And then this piece here, is gonna be my little frame here. And I'm gonna use the back side for this strip here. So you can get away with one sheet of this. However, if you're gonna make this a two page spread like I'm doing, then you'll wanna double all the ingredients that we're talking about right now, okay? And then the next sheet, I actually didn't use this side. I used this side and this is the middle square in here, okay? And then I'm going to dress it up with some stickers and I'll be good to go. All right. Now, something to keep in mind. Um, I chose to use a mat here to put a little title. You could put a photo here. And then I like having that little journaling space there. That works really well. And then I did two four by four photos, but you could certainly do other size photos. This could be a four by six photo. Um, you could have another four by six photo here, and then maybe another like four by three or four by two size photo, depending on how much space you have. Um, so again, make the layout work for your photos. That's my best suggestion. All right, so I'm gonna put this to the side for now. And we're going to come over here to the actual sketch. And if you have done this before with me, um, you know that I use a zero centering ruler to do this. Um, if you don't have a zero centering ruler, whatever ruler you have, I'm sure will work just fine. I like to use the zero centering, but that's just me. <laughs> oh, and you know what? Let me put on a little more light here, just so hopefully that brightens it up a little bit so you can see a little better. All right. Um, so I'm going to go up to the top of the sketch, and I'm just going to find my center point using my zero centering ruler. And once I think I have it, I'm just going to put a little dot so I know where it is. And then I'm gonna to come to the side and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I just wanna find that center point and then mark it. So I think it's about there. And you know, if you're not exact, 
don't get stressed out. We don't need to be exact. This is just to get us in the ballpark. And then once you make your little dots, you are going to draw lines. So here's one line. And here's two lines. So now if I hold this up to the camera. I think you'll see it better. We have a plus sign, OK? This is where they intersect. Now, once I have my plus sign, I now know where my four quadrants are. All right, my first, second, third, and fourth quadrants, and I number them. And then what I know now, this is a 12 by 12 page. And once I have labeled my quadrants, I now have six inch squares, four of them. This is a six inch square, this is a six inch square, and so is this one and this one, four six inch squares. I like to break this down into smaller pieces because it helps me figure out what the measurements should be. Now, it's not an exact science and I may not be um, completely on with the measurements, but I feel like I get pretty close. So it works for me. All right, so I'm gonna look in this first two squares here, square one and three, because I see a strip and I see a border. And then I see the start of the frame, right? So this lighter color here, that's my background paper. So I know, oops, what did I just did, here we go. This is my background paper. So I'm just gonna put this here because I know I'm not cutting that. It's gonna be what it is. So the next thing I have here is a strip. It doesn't look like it takes up too much space. The picture frame here, um, that takes up the majority of my quadrant. And actually, if you look in each quadrant, it really takes up the majority of each quadrant that's on this page. So I'm gonna make this strip, I want it to be noticeable. So I'm gonna make that an inch. So one inch on that strip. And then I'll pick a border once I'm done. Um, it could be a border strip sticker. It could be a laser cut border. It could be something I make on the border maker system. Um, this is, I think, a thinner border. So I don't know if I would use a border punch because they're usually a little bit wider than the border maker cartridges. So, um, that's a design call that you can make once you see what it looks like on your paper. All right, so I'm gonna do my one inch strip and that one inch strip is gonna come off of this piece here. So I'm gonna take my 12 inch trimmer and make that strip right now because I'm pretty firm on that. And when I'm cutting a one inch strip on this trimmer, I always cut to the right of the cutting line and use the measurements that are on this side of the, the gray mat strip. And you can cut up to an inch and three quarters on that side. Um, I just think for smaller cuts, this side works better. And when I'm cutting on my trimmer, I like to cut from the bottom and go up. I don't know why, it just feels more comfortable. So I do it that way. All right, so here's my strip. Now I'm gonna be putting it on this side of the paper because I'm creating a matching page to go with the one I've already started, all right? Now, if I flip this paper over, this is the paper, this up here, that I used on my outer square, okay? So my larger square. Now, originally, let me get the sketch back in view here. Originally, I was going to make this outer square um, a 10 inch square. And then I decided it took up a little more room on my base page than I wanted it to. Um, and I also noticed that the border between the outer square and the inner square was kind of thin, it wasn't too big. So 
I think what I'm going to do, looking at these um, and, and looking how I did here, I'm going to make my outer square about nine and a half inches, and I'm going to make my inner square about nine inches. All right. So let's make nine and a half. And this will be nine. Now, the reason I'm going with those measurements is, again, I'm looking, this is a 12 by 12 inch page, and there's a lot of space. Look here, there's a lot of space. And so I wanted to make sure that that space remained because I love this bottom base paper that I'm using, and I want that to show. And I feel like these papers really jump out on this paper, right? They just look vibrant. So. I feel like going with the nine and a half inch square will do just what I want it to do. So I'm going to go over here. Now you can do this two ways. I'm doing it the easy way today because I just feel like doing that. <laughs> um, instead of hollering, hollowing, oh my goodness, that's hard to say, hollowing out the center, I'm just going to go and line up one side of my paper to the nine and a half inch mark and cut. And this is a strip I can use on another piece of uh, another page layout. So I'm gonna put that to the side and then I'm gonna turn this horizontally and cut again at nine and a half inches. And this strip is extra and I'm gonna put that to the side and now I have my nine and a half inch square. All right. So now this page is starting to come along already. And I'm going to put my, I think these are watermelon seeds. It's really cute. So I'm going to put this like so because I want it to kind of face the other one. And now I'm going to go to my last piece of paper here and so my big square is nine and a half inches and I decided my smaller square is gonna be nine inches. So I'm gonna cut nine inches. On one side and I'm gonna turn it horizontally. and cut nine inches on the other side. So these two strips that we just cut are extra and they can go to the side. And now we have our inside square. All right, now, again, like I said, you could hollow this square out if you choose to. Um, I just chose not to, but it's not that hard to do. All right. Um, what I did notice, and if you notice here on the sketch, they cornered, they corner rounded the um, edges, the corners on the inside square. So I'm going to take my corner rounder and I'm going to do the same thing. And I also did that over here, as you can see, all of my little corners are rounded on the inside square. All right. So now here is my two page spread, not too shabby. Huh? Let me tack these items down. Um, that's a pretty quick two page spread. Granted, I did my first page off camera, but you still can see how quickly these two pages will come together. And I don't have my photos ready yet. I'm still working on editing all my photos from my travels in June. Um, so I'm hoping to get all that done this week, but we will see.
but this is just such a cute collection. I really love it. Very fun and vibrant, perfect for summer. And all those beautiful summer photos we're all gonna have, right? And I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure this whole country has been pretty darn hot, right? <laughs> uh, we hit 100 degrees the other day here in the Boston area. It was crazy. That doesn't happen too often here. Uh, we get 90 degrees, but we don't often get 100 degree weather. All right, so I'm just going to try to match this up as best I can. And look how cute this is. <laughs> so then what I will do, oh, I meant to do this first. I wanted to put my border strip on first. I'm sorry. So let me just pull this up real quick. And I'm taking that little sunshine strip because that's what I put on the other side. And I'm just matching it up. All right. So let's see here. All right. I don't know if you can hear the jingling in the background. My little dog just came in to say hello. Oh, and there she is. All right, so now I have the border strip on and I'm gonna go back and get this on like so. And then you have it. And then what you can do, do I have any little things here? So you could do a couple of photos like this. These are four by six in size. You could do this vertically or horizontally. And then that gives you a little more room to play with on this side. Maybe you could do a couple of smaller, skinnier photos here. Um, and if you did that, then you're looking at at least six photos for the two page spread, or you could do some more four by four photos as well. So you have a lot of um, possibilities with this layout, which I like. And I don't know if you see, but it's pretty quick and easy, right? <laughs> I'm all about quick and easy. And I think this definitely fills that bill. All right, so um, once again, I am going to go and once I get my photos finished from editing, I have some beautiful pages to put some photos on between what I've made the last few weeks and uh, or actually over the past month or so. Um, so I can't wait to get my photos, yay! <laughs> All right, so that is my plus sign design technique for August. Um, I will come back again with another one in September, maybe another one before that too, we'll see. Um, so I just want to remind everybody, I do have a Facebook group. It's called FRQ Glitz Girls Scrapbooking Group. I run it with two of my other team members and... We are a free community of scrappers. We share, we learn, we get motivated, we have fun, we do silly things. Sometimes we have contests. Um, a lot of people are kind of away for the summer. So we'll be probably getting into more fun things once the summer ends. Um, but anyway, feel free to request to join the group. We just have a few simple questions that you answer and then we approve you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, suggestions, feel free to reach out to me at Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks at gmail.com. I would love to be your advisor if you don't already have one. And I would encourage you to visit my website at www.creativememories.com forward slash user 
forward slash Michelle Fitz. And I'll put links to all of these uh, three items in the description of this video, so you can go look there. Um, and if you like this video, I hope you'll click the like button, and I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and if you do subscribe, click on that little bell icon if you see it. That um, notifies you anytime I put out a new video. And as always, oh, one last thing before I sign off, don't forget about the Tool Buffet promo. That ends this Tuesday at, I believe it's noon central time. So that would be about one o'clock Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Um, I think my box might have come in yesterday, but I wasn't home. I was away, so I haven't had time to open it yet. So hopefully I'll get to that today. Um, but at any rate, I just want to thank you all for watching, and I can't wait to see you all next time. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.